Radio Raheem here with none other than the man who has one of the most famous quotes in boxing, the most famous boxer in boxing, and uh, one of the most famous trainers in boxing, Roger Mayweather. Uh, Roger, you know, this is, in a long time, one of the first times you've been sitting here and the event's been on, the media's been crushing, and you're not the guy in the corner. Uh, talk to me about what it's like not to be in that role in a Mayweather fight. Who ain't gonna be in the corner? Are you, well... They had me in it, what you mean? <laughs> shit, <laughs> me. <laughs> I ain't never heard that shit before. <laughs> so it's gonna be you and your brother in the corner, you and senior. But my, my brother and my nephew, and my, and my uh, two brothers, my Floyd, Jeff, and me both be in the corner. Okay, so then I'll rephrase that. How does it feel not to be the lead trainer, the guy who's, uh, you know, the I head trainer? lead trainer. I'm the one who's been training him every day. Last time I, the last time I seen, I've been training him every day. So, okay, so I, I, don't, I don't worry about, about uh, who, 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 who do the talking. Who, if, a, if a man knows something, it's not a big thing to me. But, but uh, as, far as, as far as boxing go, and, and, and far as performance go, it ain't nothing but me. So then what does Floyd Mayweather Sr. bring to the team? I don't know. Well, he, Floyd, Floyd been training his kids since he was a baby, pretty much. But, but you have to understand, Floyd been with me for 16, for 15 years. 15 years and 14 fights. That's how long Floyd been with me. So, uh, and Floyd didn't have, uh, obviously he didn't have big performance with me. He, uh, he beat De La Hoya with me. He beat uh, Ortiz with me. He beat uh, the kid from Puerto Rico. He beat him with me. He beat uh, D.L. Corrales with me. Yeah, I mean, Floyd, no, I don't worry about that because Floyd know what I can do. So I don't, I don't, I'm not one of them guys that, uh, I don't hate on anybody else that who posed to be better than me. I don't, I don't worry about that because all I know is when the time comes to perform, I can make them perform. So I don't worry about that. You know, you're absolutely right. We've heard Floyd uh, on many occasions say that you're the best trainer in the world, that you're his trainer, and it was a bit of a surprise, everyone, that he chose to bring his father into this camp. Well, I, I mean, I, I think that because he's fighting here, he's fighting here, he wanted his uncle, he wanted my, my, my brother, his uncle, he wanted Floyd, and he wanted me. He wanted them all to be in the corner. He wanted all of them to be in the corner, so... They can all benefit from, you know, his gift. So I think that's what it's about. So it, I don't think it's so much about me. I don't think it's so much about me or about his dad. It, that, that, that's what he wanted. And since, I mean, remember one thing. The boss is the motherfucker who paid you. So, hey, that's part of it. So that's, that's, that's part of the, the gift that he got. And, and, I mean, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel bad about it because hey, my thing is this: as long as he produce, he continues to produce. That's all that counts to me, basically. You know, obviously your nephew loves you. He's expressed concern about your health. Some people speculated that maybe that was part of the decision. How do you feel? How how is your health these days? Well, I've been tra I've been training for this whole <laughs> for this fight all this time. So, obvious my health ain't, ain't, ain't as bad as they po it's supposed to be because I've been training them all this time. Turning to the fight itself, you know, this is the first time that we've heard Floyd express any kind of propensity to watch tapes of his opponent. He said that there's no blueprint on how to beat him, but there is a blueprint on how to beat Guerrero. Is he studying Guerrero at all? Are you taking into account how Guerrero fights while you're training for this fight? Uh, he gonna, he, I mean, I, uh, when my nephew fight, obviously, uh, they they will give him a tape of some form. And, uh, of course, like anything else, uh, you know, he gets the tape, and uh, we're going to 
we're gonna see what 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 he's got and and what he brings to the table. So, I mean, I'm sure we'll get the tape real soon. So, hope we uh, we'll get the tape and and we'll examine him and hey, once we examine him, we'll break him down. Then we go from there. That's the old key. You and Floyd Mayweather have been undefeated. You've been incredibly successful in this fight game the whole time that you've been together, his whole career, 43 wins. Even in that, people look for criticism. In the Cotto fight, people say Floyd lost a step. He wasn't able to move like he had in the past. Even having won the fight, that criticism has come out. i just like for you to address that and whether or not you think Floyd has had a, at all lost a step. I understand about boxing. A lot of people see something that don't know about boxing. They don't know nothing about boxing. Don't know what about boxing? But, <laughs> but at the same time, different fight bring you different style as to what you supposed to do or what you or how to get to them. So since most people don't even understand about boxing anyway, so they just talk. They just talk to hear somebody out of their mouth. They, they think that because they, they say something that that's right. But they don't even know nothing about boxing anyway. So what difference does it make what they say? The thing of it is, the, the name of the game is this. You know who that is, don't you? Win, ain't it? All right, then. That's <laughs> you know the key. a little bit about boxing. That's the key. That's, hey, that's the name of the game. So it, it, it ain't so much about... Because every performance ain't going to be a, 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 a great performance. Every performance ain't going to be a great performance. But as long as you have greater performance than you have less performance, then that's what's going to get you over the, over the hump. Because that's when people are going to decide they're going to want to see you. And that's what my nephew been doing. He's, uh, he's one of them guys that... Uh, he performed. When he came to fight, he performed. That's what that's what boxing's about. If we're to be if Guerrero is to be believed, he says he's going to put pressure on Floyd. We we've seen him rough up other fighters, try to be aggressive, stay on the inside. Are you expecting that? Are you training for that? Well, my thing is this. Guerrero can put in his mind anything he actually wanna do. I don't whatever he wanna do. Remember. Floyd is the best fighter out there. So, since he's the best fighter out there, obviously, Floyd got, Floyd got 42, 43 wins, right? Right. And he won eight world titles. Right. So, obviously, he must know how to fight. Otherwise, he would never won them titles. And he didn't fight every guy that's out there pretty much that people said he couldn't beat. Well, I don't see no different than... Uh, Guerrero that he's going to pose any threat for Floyd as any other guy. Any other guy that Floyd didn't fought before. Everybody talk though. Everybody talk. Everybody say they're going to do this. They're going to do that. He got to do it. And the only way you can do it, you got to do it in here. And I ain't never seen nobody out think my nephew. Not in here, I ain't. I ain't never seen it. And lastly, Roger, six fights, 30 months, that's what Floyd signed on for. Right. In that 30 months, in that six fights, as a trainer, who would you like to see him beat before he gets out of the ring, before he hangs it up? Pacquiao. <laughs> I, I, I like to see him beat Pacquiao last, because you know what? Everybody know what time it is. Floyd, the guy who knocked out Pacquiao, Floyd beat him already. So I like to see him fight Pacquiao. Just, just to, that's just to shut that mouth. People say, oh, he's scared, Floyd scared of Pacquiao. He's scared of Pacquiao and Marquette knocked him out? I guess. I guess he's scared of him. <laughs> I could talk to you for hours, but I won't take up that much of your time. Roger, it's a pleasure. Oh, it's an honor. Day, my man. Radio Raheem with Roger Mayweather.